You ever stare up at the sky? All, every day. And look at the clouds yes. yep. and, and try to pick out shapes and that sort of thing? I don't do the shape thing. The shape? Like yeah. you see like, oh, it's it's something. It's a dinosaur or whatever. People are seeing something in the clouds right now, aren't they? Right. Well, no, not right no. now. But no, the cloud has become something? Well, you tell me, Grant. I'm just here for you. I don't, uh, I don't well, really know. I appreciate you being here for me. So, so last, mm -hmm. last week, this, uh, this cloud formed over in uh, Nevada. Is that real? And uh, yeah, it's called a horseshoe cloud, actually. A horseshoe vortex cloud. And uh, this is the National Weather Service, Elko, that sent out this, this tweet. And they say it's one of the rarest clouds ever. This was taken in uh, Battle Mountain, Nevada, uh, last Thursday on March 8th. So here's, uh, here's kind of the cool thing about this horseshoe cloud. It's, uh, well, obviously named because it, it looks like a, a horseshoe. So let's talk about this because they are very, <laughs> very rare to get this on camera is pretty cool. So a couple of things that you need to get a horseshoe cloud. You need wind shear wind speeds moving faster aloft than they are down towards the surface. The other thing that you need is this thing called a thermal. We get them here in the summertime here in Florida, and it's a relatively small scale current of rising air that comes up from the ground from when the ground is heated by the sun. Now you got a regular cumulus cloud. We get these two and what happens is this regular cumulus cloud moves over that thermal, that rising current of air literally will lift the cloud and the center of that thermal, the air is moving much faster. So it sort of leaves the ends of the cloud closer to the ground. It encounters that wind shear toward the top and that wind shear sort of acts like a, a lid on the atmosphere, but it also causes that cloud to spin just like a, a water spout or a tornado, but much less dangerous because it's lifted off the ground and it's just this band of rotating cloud cover. And again, it is very, very rare. They typically only last five to 10 minutes, which is why you just don't see them very often because once you see them, you get your camera ready and they disappear. So kind of a cool thing to see up in Nevada, this horseshoe vortex.